taught soul printing to 21 16 to 18 year old girls soccer team team building project and it was just one of the most wonderful blessings I've had in soul printing um, but two weeks before that in prep because I live by my calendar and I know what's coming mm -hmm. and sometimes that's a good thing and sometimes that's a bad thing because I really live in the moment mm -hmm. most days. But that days. is though, you have to keep yourself yeah. organized. The two weeks ahead I was mentally, physically getting myself prepared. The last week before that I was rehabbing my whole talk thinking making sure that what I had in my mind and heart to share with these young women was the correct thing. And I started listening to a shock, um, chakra clearing every single day. And I have been doing that every single day for three weeks. And I, I honestly can't tell you how wonderful it was to walk into that presentation with these young women and not be scared, not be afraid I was going to say the wrong thing or mispronounce something. I was just, I was confirmed before I walked in that I was exactly where I was supposed to be. And I had everything within me to share. You have. And yeah, you do. It, but, That's presence. Yeah. But the, yeah. you know, I'm accrediting giving myself a meditation every day. Discipline. Clearing my yeah. chakras has been major, major, and that's something I've never done before. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm like looking at, okay, what's the difference here? Wow, that's the difference. I'm, I'm really feeling very balanced. I feel like there's so many ways. Yeah. I oh, really oh. do. And I believe there are oh, so yeah. many ways. Um, you know, you said something about fairies and leprechauns. And that's and, somebody, you know, that's else's, somebody way. else's way. Exactly. And there are so, there are so many ways. Um, but what I've really found is everybody seems to come to the chakra. The whole they do. chakra they alignment. Do. And that is really awesome to me. But getting back to all the different, it, there's many ways that people are touched and their heart is turned. Yes. And I feel it's turned to good. Light and love, that's what it's all about. Light and love. Could you say that to our viewers? Because they just need to, I can feel you when you say it. And just to look at them and take this time to feel that. It is all about light and love. There are many, many ways that we can learn or be blessed or enlightened. But when it's all coming in love and light, that's what it's all about, love and light. Welcome back to Interviews. I am Kimmy Rose, and you're listening to Telos TV. TelosTV.com is how you can access us on the internet, and we are available all over the country. It's really, I, I would really like you to take the time, if you can, to, to, to look at the network and sign up and, 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 and get to know all the wonderful things Telos has to offer. Right now, I'm very, very blessed to be joined by Carolyn Boatman. We're at the Country Lodge. I had a blessing of being invited here with my children. I am a mother of five. I have, have them, um, half of them here with me. And um, this is Sabbath Song Farm, SabbathSongFarm.com. Go there. It will touch your heart. We were talking about fear, and remember that the quote by um, Mr. Roosevelt, he said, there's nothing to fear but fear itself. And you were sharing with people a modality of chakra 
cleansing that you went to. How do people know when something's right for them? When it feels good and you feel love coming from it. As, as something that's filled with love, light, and happiness cannot be dark. No. It cannot be wrong. It is a blessing in some way, shape, or form. You might not have arrived. It might be the first baby step in the right direction. But if it is filled with love, light, and happiness, it is right. It is good. And you're on the right path. And I encourage everyone to really take a look at this network and see how dedicated we are to sharing all these different ways. We're not here to convince you of anything. We're here because we believe in love. And I feel blessed to be able to meet so many wonderful people who have that same intention and dedication. So going back, you, you, you decided you were going to buy a farm. Yes. Now that was the farm. There's a farm over... You started out with a, a part. I mean, this is grown, obviously. And so, and then your husband moved here with you? Oh, of course. <laughs> he came in before I did, truthfully, um, because he had to, you know, we saw it. We visited several times and decided this was what we wanted. And then he came in for all the inspections, and I stayed in California. Um, and we had our closing date, and our house in California sold. It was divinely planned. We could not have put it together better. I, it was just meant to be. Did you trust? Yes. Talk about trust. I mean, for me, it's just, you do it. You just know you're supposed to do it. Did something take you to that trust? Or was it just, I just know, a knowing? We, as far as buying the farm, we had two farms that we were looking at. And truthfully, both of them were beautiful and wonderful. But I just trusted that this was where we were supposed to come. And we didn't have long discussions about it, Wes and I. Um, I believe he knew too. All. Yeah. All the factors were playing into it. Believe me, there's been days that we've wondered why we moved to the farm. Moving to a 100-acre farm, then adding to it, totaling 265 acres, cutting our own hay, having our business grow big enough that we need employees. That always complicates things. Mm -hmm. We also raise Old English Mastiffs. and having litters every spring for the last five years, it gets complicated. <laughs> and we have ended up keeping several of the puppies, and now we have 15. And it complicates your life. We have seven horses, a miniature donkey, and 15 Old English Mastiffs. I call our farm the modern day farm. Now. In finding employees, you need good animal caregivers, those that love animals, that will stay with your animals, or you and your husband can't travel together. We're going through a small period of time where my husband and I are not traveling together because one of us has to be home to take care of our babies. And that's okay. We are very good with that because we know the day will come when we have the appropriate person to take care of our animals and we'll be able to leave the property maybe months at a time and go travel Europe. Mm. And those, thing, those days will come and those days will, they're mm. not too far off. And there's that trust. And that's the trust and believing that we love life 
we believe in the happy side of life. There is a happiness for everyone. You just need to find it and recognize it and give yourself permission to enjoy it. And everything will fall into place. Listen to, I love being in nature because <laughs> this sense, this is like confirmation. Thank you. <laughs> and you said the word, the magical word of trust. So if you're out there and you're going, I'm stuck at this job and how am I going to pay my bills? How am I going to do this? How am I going to do that? What you do is you really work with helping people to bring out passion, the creativity, to get to know themselves. And when we come back, I would love to talk more about that. Great. How people can really touch on that. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we will have more with interviews. I'm Kimmy Rose. You're watching Telos TV. And go over to telostv.com and check out all the wonderful things that, and all the wonderful teachers that we have. And Carolyn Boatman here at the Country Lodge, Sabbath Song Farms in Kentucky. And I am going to tell you, I feel very blessed to be present here in this moment. We will be right back. Welcome back to Interviews. I am Kimmy Rose and you are watching Telos TV Network. Please make sure you go over to the website telostv.com and go to Sabbath Song Farm. Com. You're going to see this beautiful sacred space. You call this the, this is the shade? Yes, our shade garden. Now see, I like this because um, Carolyn, and this is the country inn, and it's a bed and breakfast. Yes. And you do work here with people. And we were talking about inspiration to help to inspire them. Mm -hmm. You're an artist. Now I can honestly say, that um, I remember when I was in fifth grade, my teacher saying, you have awful handwriting and you <laughs> cannot paint or draw for anything. And I remember that really affected me. So a lot of people out there are have a big, here we go, fear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or preconceived type past trigger. Yes. So everybody has an artist inside, right? Yes, they do. Everyone's creative. What inspired you? My mother, when I was in kindergarten, she told me that I was an artist. School was not a good thing for me. Um, where your teacher in fifth grade told you you could not write well and you could not paint or draw, that's an awful thing to say to a child. Awful. When I was in kindergarten, I had a very over-dominating teacher that had total control. I was just a kindergartner, scared to death to be away from home. And I didn't want to leave home in kindergarten. I wanted to be home with my mom. And so much that since I was a November birthday, I didn't have to go that first year because I cried. Mm -hmm. And my mother took me back home. That's how strong the desire was to not leave home for me when I think I let all my other friends, my friends in the neighborhood went to kindergarten, but I stayed home. And this next year I started kindergarten and it was, a, it was not a good experience for me. And I carried that throughout school. I never liked school. That's why I felt solitude in going to the art studio, doing art throughout school my 12 years of school, I spent all my time creatively. Um, I believe very strongly everyone is creative. Some have not squeezed those creative juices or I never like have that. been given. Squeezing yeah. them. Squeeze your creative juices. <laughs> Truly. Truly. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, give yourself the opportunity to do that, as you should give yourself the opportunity to relax 
and get away from the hustle and bustle of life. Many might be looking for the right place to be in their lives. Yeah. Not all of us can quit our jobs and just go live on a mountaintop and pray. For or a cave. Or a cave. I thought of caves. Why not? Or by a <laughs> creek yeah. stream and live by nature. But um, we need to make sure that we're going to be able to take care of ourselves or our children or help with finances. But what I really desire to do with our country lodge here at Sabasong Farm is to give people the opportunity to come and give at least a weekend yeah. of forgetting about everything. We are way out in the country. You drive windy roads to get here and it's a wonderful thing because if you're coming from the city it's just far enough to let you turn the city off. Yes. To turn, if you've left work on Friday afternoon and you're driving out here, by the time you get here, you have forgotten everything that was going on That's true. at work that <laughs> afternoon. In my cell phone, one of the things I thought was wonderful is my signal kept going in and out. I'm like, turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> Just turn it off. But, but that's the thing is, Time it goes so fast, and it's even been scientifically proven that it has. But that doesn't mean we can't stop our inspiration. That's right. So it's taking time, correct? Taking time, giving yourself time to relax. A lot of people have a hard time turning it off. Yeah. And what I find about this whole environment, it helps you. The inspiration, it's nothing I do or Wes does that creates an inspiration in a person. You have inspiration within you. Coming to a quiet place and listening to the birds sing and the frogs sing and the locusts chirp. I love it. <laughs> Feel the breeze. Look at the blue skies and the clouds. Breathe in, breathe out, and know that you are blessed brings up that inspiration in you. It gives you the moment to think about what your inspiration is and what you're going to do with your life when you return on Sunday or Monday or Tuesday. I've had people come on a Friday and end up staying until Wednesday. I'm, I'm smiling because I, I, I had said this to